what a surprise back into there being another reaction to Jujutsu Kaisen this time of episode 9 uh, looking forward to hopefully a kind of turn of form of sorts today for Jujutsu Kaisen last episode was slightly disappointing more so um, I don't think it was actually the fault of anyone on the production or anything but the TV studios um, unfortunately it just looked a bit sloppy and messy during uh, the fight scenes especially with the locust grasshopper thing uh, that and it just kind of reminded me of the exorcist 2 which is uh, a terrible time so <laughs> um, yeah didn't have the best of time with the heart first half of the episode last week but uh, second half was really awesome seeing Jogo and Hanami versus Gojo uh, using a few techniques uh, to actually subdue Gojo's Limitless um, I think it's called or his kind of infinity barrier that's around him um, and they actually done a pretty good job they've obviously got uh, some hostages we'll call them on their side uh, so things are looking pretty good for them um, again I think we can ascertain the whole uh, gist of what's going on here is to kind of defeat Gojo so looking forward to continuing this fight today do let me know what you guys think of this episode though down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions Let's get right into the episode. Who you, Satoru Gojo, is? Well, this is ominous. <laughs> this is what you'd do if someone died, right? We saw how they met earlier on in the season. The strongest. That's a, again, that's pretty ominous, is it not? Oh, I see this shot in the trailer. Pretty ominous. I've I haven't seen luckily. I don't know how I've avoided this because I've I've heard about a lot of reactors and people in general getting spoiled for Jujutsu Kaisen this week. I think something big happened in the manga, but um I have I have not seen anything about it luckily, unless to avoid it or not sure how, but um yeah just have luckily enough. Again, I've heard multiple instances of people getting spoiled, so please no spoilers or anything in the comment section. If you see anyone, do comment, because I'm probably not going to read the comments for a few hours beforehand. Just, uh, just report it. It should get taken down. But yeah, again, last episode was one of the least impressive of the whole series, I think, is fair, fair enough to say. I did see the production before the changes for TV with um, just the kind of raw, no colours, just, um, just the kind of movements and such, and that was actually, like, much better <laughs> than what we got in the episode. Like the pre, uh, I think it was like the storyboarding or something. It looked so much better, even without any kind of detail or colours, than uh, what we did see last week, which was just a bunch of blur, really. A bunch of blurring. I hope that's not a trend this season. It didn't seem to be in the first season. You touched him. This is what you get when you touch him. <laughs> you got a feel for Joker, haven't you? I 
He has, he has. Which is actually quite promising for these guys, I think. I'm loving the look of this animation already this episode. Ma was better. Again, I don't I say animation, like I said, I don't actually think it was the animation. Oh that was a that was a really cool shot. Again, I love the the expressions and the the faces from Jogo and especially well Gojo and Jogo today. They've been awesome already. Oh, you made him bald. Oh, yeah, we almost forget. The, the brother's still here as well. Not sure what he's been doing. Death painting. <laughs> oh, shit. So now it's actually gotten stronger. I maybe do just want to go back there. Apologies for you guys that don't like me um kind of rewatching stuff, but I'm gonna go back in about a minute. I feel bad for Hadami here as well, getting bolded. <laughs> Taking the stumps out. Uh four forty six. Again, it's it's doing quite a good job of making me actually feel bad for the villains here. They're just getting smoked. I love that about um what's his name? Del Toro. He's uh with his works he always makes you feel for the monsters. I don't quite, I don't feel that's the intent here, but I I do feel bad for these guys. A death painting with a physical body. Interesting. Oh jeez. Yeah, it's getting crushed. Again, I don't think he cares that much. <laughs> I don't think he cares too much about your hostages. Oof. <laughs> oh no. Where are you? <laughs> are you just is that you on the wall? <laughs> Are you splattered across the wall? Oh my god, Hanami. I'm kind of glad it wasn't Jogo. I do like Jogo. I like Hanami as well. I don't think I like Hanami quite as much as Jogo though. Four meters. This probably means something. <laughs> I just don't have any idea what. It's also pretty interesting you find these guys play a game as chill as this.
<laughs> Imagine me and that guy chucked <laughs> mid air. <laughs> At least he's not volcano in them. Yeah, I guess that's just the end of Hanami. Exploded. No, that was never going to be an option here, I don't think. <clears throat> Obviously, we've had plenty of people die already. Oh, fuck. And she got done anyway. So this is where we see him in the scene from the intro. Oh god. <laughs> These guys are all so happy the train's coming. Oh god. Oh you're you're dead first, bro. <laughs> Or maybe this guy is. <laughs> Beautiful. Yep. <laughs> just a, a, a just a chunk. Just a chunk eating out of him. Yeah, I guess we might as well have just to be honest, actually the better fate would have maybe just been for Gojo just to kill everyone in this room before all these things came. Obviously, I had no idea this was going to happen, but just not care about the not care about the um, what they called the normal people from the off because they're going to die anyway. Wow. Yeah. Ain't got to worry about that. Maji. <laughs> okay, one of my favorites, Mahito's here.
Jesus Christ, a lot of people are dying, aren't they? <laughs> I wonder how many this arc. How many... Yeah, I wonder how many have died so far already. At least hundreds. Indeed. That is interesting, isn't it? They just dropped a whole bunch more people down here just to offset that even more. It must be quite confusing. Like I said, I, I would have thought, looking back, we might as well have just forgot about the humans, but now that they've added more, it brings out that question again. Oh, he's going to use it. Uh, again, at this point, I don't blame him. <laughs> oh, shit. That was, that was the Joker right there. That was the Joker right there. That was like the spitting image of the, um, the 2019 version. I only watched that this year. <laughs> Point two seconds. So is that is the, the aftermath of, of this is what we saw in the intro. Wow. <laughs> Fucking hell. Now this is probably something you've got to use that kind of stuff that I used last episode for because I imagine this may, probably would be quite epilepsy inducing. It's just still going. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Fucking hell. Okay, okay. Now that was an intense focus, as you saw by his eyes. So it's kind of what they what they wanted from him, but not how they expected. In two point two seconds, <laughs> two hundred ninety nine after lifting the domain. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah just frozen but this is what they wanted the same wrappings as we've seen with the nails Oh shit, yeah, it's the prison realm, of course. Is that like a full house or something in that game? Oh, 
Aren't you dead? <laughs> He's obviously got that stitching on his brain, so something happened. There really was a lot covered in those five episodes, weren't there? One minute of his brain time. Oh shit, we're going to see inside. <laughs> the fuck is that? Brain man. Excuse me? <laughs> gonna have to read that again. So it's, it's, I'm just gonna have to read that again. Don't know why this reminded me a little bit of Golden Camoy with um his name. With all the brain liquids <laughs> with that white kind of brain liquids. Reminded me a little bit of Golden Camoy. Um yeah, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Love this shot here. So it's not him. Replace the body indefinitely as long as the brain is transferred. But it can also use the techniques of the body. So this is someone else. Uh, just with but essentially it's it is him but it's also not The fuck? Has been sealed. What the hell is going on here, my dude? <laughs> so that was Mekamari speaking right there. But uh, didn't Mekamari die? Again, we didn't actually see his body, so might not have. 
or maybe this was maybe his like last transmission or something. Obviously, Mahito's here right now. So what happened in the fight between Mahito and Mekamari was before the events of this, of course. So what the hell's going on here? Um, again, I'm, I'm, I don't feel like I fully understand what's going on with Ghetto just yet. They explained it right there, but still, I don't quite understand. I think this is a, I think it's a different person. <laughs> God, I can't really be sure. I think it's like the brain. Ah, but they th the thing is, they said that the, they they could copy the body and the body's techniques and such, which is obviously the case with Ghetto. If they had the brain, so they managed to obtain the brain, and then they didn't have the body, but they they got a new body. I, I think again, <laughs> who knows. But yeah, Gojo Satoru is sealed. So I feel like that might be the end of him for this arc. It looks like they have accomplished their mission. Probably going to go back and rewatch some of this episode just after this. Um, talk about skincare. But yeah, plenty of questions. I still have answers. Still want answers for. So Gojo's just going to be in that box. Um, again, most of my questions come from the last kind of five minutes here. So I'm just going to skip by to the last five minutes and kind of rewatch this. I love this little flashback here, by the way, for what we covered in the first five episodes and a little bit before that as well. Um, that was some really great stuff. Again, it, it just shows how much, how much those five episodes really meant for this arc, but also for, for the first season. I feel like it really added a lot to the story. Um, really expanded upon the characters in, in a brilliant way in my opinion uh, it was probably one of my favorite arcs looking back the first five episodes of this season um obviously had that shocking end of course but uh yeah super interesting stuff going right here Apparently, the body and the curse energy is ghetto, ghetto, but it's not. Replace the body indefinitely as long as the brain is transferred. And it actually says copy. I love this <laughs> little dome, by the way. Um, it actually says copy in the Japanese talk, not in the subtitles right here. So it copies a body. A technique can replace the body indefinitely as long as the brain is transferred. Okay, I'll. I'm here with it for that. I know I, I, I can contemplate that. <laughs> of course, I can also use the techniques engraved on the body. Yeah, I can understand that as well. But it is cursed manipulation and also intentionally created this situation. Yes. So you're also telling me this was also set up so that Ghetto would almost be like the final nail in the coffin, funny enough, as we've been seeing these nails all along. Um, him, Go Gojo seeing Ghetto would create even more confusion and, and thoughts going through Satoru's head to just, again, put the nail in the coffin to seal him, I think. They've done a really good job of this, haven't they? I think I've understood most of it, but I... it still doesn't explain who he is right now, <laughs> who he actually is. I mean, again, he's kind of masquerading as Ghetto, but who the fuck actually is this brain mouth thing? It's, it's Ghetto's brain. Uh, maybe it is just Ghetto, but a, a technique has kind of arisen him. And I don't know. I, 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 can, I don't fully still understand it.
So you're telling me Gojo is going to be sealed for a thousand years? And it looks like here Gojo is saying that Okotsu would almost be kind of Gojo's pre predecessor if Gojo was to be sealed. Um, I think uh, I don't think they're on the same level, are they? <laughs> As was explained. We haven't seen him this season. I'm really excited to see him again. He was off training with that, uh, that Egyptian guy. So he's got infinite again. I'm, I'm still not too clued up about Okotsu's powers. But I, I, would, I would look into this type of thing, but with this type of thing, you usually would get spoilers, so I'm not going to. Uh, let's just take it from the talk here. Additional technique limit. Infinite cursed energy. I'm looking forward to seeing him again though. And yeah, another question is, of course, this Mechamari stuff, but hopefully we might get answers to that going forward. Maybe it's just like, again, a message he recorded or something like that, or maybe he is still alive. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Again, lots of uh, interesting stuff popping up towards the end of the episode there. Really great fight scenes throughout the start with uh, Jogo. Uh, rest in peace, Hanami. Um, yeah, splattered. <laughs> splattered all across the wall. Uh, they're quite lucky they only got away with Hanami dying. Jogo could have easily bit the dust as well. Uh, I was glad Mahito turned up late. That was a really cool entrance, wasn't it, with all the uh, transfigured people. But yeah, they have finally managed to seal him again. What a great job they've done as well, manipulating his kind of mind and thoughts. And um, Gojo actually went even further than they thought he would go. Uh, but it, again, only just kind of worked to their advantage with his concentration and his um, and his mind. And like I said, I think the I think the killer, the uh, the final nail in the coffin was ghetto arriving here i think that was as he said always planned to be the case um again there's just a really tight tight-knit plan that they've uh, come up with here and they've sealed the strongest sorcerer that we know in the story i believe um could be wrong about that but i'm pretty sure that is the case yeah just got replored them really i uh, loved a lot of the scenes today there was a little bit of the um kind of blurriness and such but i think it was more warranted today than it was last episode uh it, there was a lot of um again maybe quite epileptic Type scenes in today's episode a lot of fast moving images and um it it wasn't all too light and bright because of that shadowing stuff i think so um yeah they've done a better job of it today than they did last episode they didn't quite obscure it as much either but um yes yeah, i really love the animation here again some interesting talk here at the end um i can't wait to see akotsu back in the story to be honest with you but of course we only did see him in that movie and i think we saw a flash of him in, in maybe an episode of season one um but yeah, looking forward to him returning. Uh, looking forward to Itadori stumbling across the scene, which looks to happen next episode from the preview. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this one down in the comment section. And again, any help would also be appreciated with understanding um, exactly who Ghetto is. <laughs> again, I can't, it's weird because he kind of is Ghetto, but he's, I don't think he is. I don't think that is Ghetto. There's some kind of other existence. But again, I'm not 100% sure of that. So yeah, please let me know um, any details that I kind of missed out on this episode. Leave a like on the video if you guys did like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions. I'll be back next week with episode 10. So come with that one. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.